the sun's catching over the lovely fluffy light. Snow, storm clouds. I want to be getting this in, but I want to need to use a very light cream just to put in this farm building here, which is vital to this picture. It's just a little bit of white and cream, which is so important, just catching the light here. hope it doesn't get smudged afterwards because that is a very important piece of the picture. I'm gradually building it up. I'm keeping the whole picture going. I'm not just working on one part as you hopefully notice. I'm keeping the whole painting going at one go. Not just finishing one bit and thinking, oh that's it, because I have to keep relating one colour to another to make this work. play with these colours, I need little bits of red going on back there to really make that sunlight appear to catch in there. Maybe a little bit of the same coming in here, we've really got to look for these colours. So mix these colours to get them right. It's coming from there to come across the house. Let's walk up into here. And these lights come in. Things going on into there now. And it gives me a little break from doing these oils and garden scenes, it's nice to, to do, different, do different things. People say, what's my favourite way of painting? I don't have a favourite. Hopefully I enjoy doing whatever I do. And they're all for different reasons, and different purposes and different effects. And it's playing between these different blues and greys. Before I do too much more on this, I really do need to get back to working on down here, down on the snow, if we'll put the warmer ones in, I'll just show you. We'll come in with these warmer ones, look, little bits of cream amongst the cool to just catch that light coming across them, so you can see how it'll work. I'll carry on with the very, very light blue first of all. all the way across here, little dots. There's quite a bit of work to do on this one. We can't get away with it with special techniques, I don't think, very easily. We're going to have to work and put it in. We're gradually getting the feeling of these going right the way back. Just tickling them in until they go all the way back to distance. If we get right back there, then we can look at the shadows, in fact, being a bit cooler. And actually use a cooler blue, I reckon. Back here, into those shadowed areas, and just enhance this business of the perspective, giving us a feeling of leading in the eye into that field a bit more. And now let's come back to that cream we were talking about, and start to put some of those little light areas in to catch this sunlight on the edge of these frosty little lumps of tilled soil. Maybe go a little lighter still in places at the very foreground. A bit of pure white coming in. Push those clouds back a bit. And we're not far off finishing. And you've seen how quickly that's been built up. Just to bring the eye forward, bring the picture forward. Then we link one thing to another, it doesn't become just foreground, middle distance, distance, we do have a linkage between the colours. Just, just tidy the sky up a fraction. I'm going to go back into the foreground here and put a little bit more dark into places. 
just again to try and bring that forward a fraction. It'll also give me a colour to sign it with as well. These little things that can either make or break a painting now, so uh, this is a bit of tidying up.